What um, made you uh, decide to take this road to be a referee? <laughs> yeah. um, of course, uh, the, the, uh, the biggest reason was uh, my father, who was uh, a FIFA referee. Uh, he played football, he was a referee. I, I knew what uh, he did uh, also in Greece and also abroad. And for me, it was the biggest uh, motivation. So I started to be a young referee since uh, 18 years old. There was no other possibility in Greece to be before. My father told me from the beginning that, OK, I will follow you. And uh, in the first two years, if you are OK, I will say continue. Otherwise, I will tell you stop. I wanted to do something that my father didn't finish. I didn't believe at that time, but uh, after I put it as a target. Uh, I mean, a World Cup, a Euro, and whatever. So um, he was my coach, he was my mentor, uh, apart from my, fa my father. I can say that in the beginning he was, uh, uh, he, he did a good criticism to me. I mean, he was not soft. When I started to become, uh, uh, let's say, an elite referee, then I had to explain my mistakes. And I said, I think this is a mistake. He said, no, no, you did it perfect. So, he became soft at the end, <laughs> but, but uh, hard in the beginning. How are the first steps in, in this refereeing world? Because you, you started as a football player, but you finished at, at, as a referee. It was a different uh, world? It was uh, <coughs> much harder, much difficult? Uh, for me, I didn't start as a football player. Actually, I was a swimmer. <laughs> Then uh, I, I was in um, many sports uh, also in my college, I mean, uh, in high school and so on. And I know that one of that was football. Then uh, uh, at uh, the age of uh, 14, 15, 16, uh, I played football. But before I was uh, a good swimmer, I mean, with, with some records. I mean, not so top, okay, but um, I, I had, uh, I had uh, a feeling of sports uh, since eight years old, so I knew how to, to treat uh, many of, uh, uh, of what my body needs, uh, uh, what uh, the demands are making me stronger, and that helped me a lot, generally, not only football. The, in the beginning, when I, I was in the forward, and the center forward, and then uh, I like it, at that, that time, it was uh, one of the, okay, not so tall, but not so short. So um, I, I like to fight with that. Uh, but I knew every time uh, uh, what I want and what to, to enjoy. Because for me, sport and generally football is the, to play, to win, to know how to lose, and to know that there are all results there. But uh, I had a lot of friends in, uh, during sports. Why? Because uh, I had the friends that they, 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 they would like to be competitive, they would like to, to fight and at the end to shake hands. I had the capacity to overrule uh, many of, my, of the difficulties you have in the beginning as a referee. You said that you had some diffic difficult times in the beginning. Uh, what were the difficult parts of this uh, career or as a referee? Uh, really, I don't know the the situation here in Romania, but uh, during our amateur matches was not easy. was uh, a lot of uh, difficulties with uh, spectators. We had a lot of people, but uh, there were a lot of fanatics, there were some situations. So the first thing that you need to have to, to survive, let's say, in brackets, okay, is to, be, to use your personality and to be strong. And so, run fast. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, to, know, to know from the beginning uh, where is the exit, maybe. Uh, generally, that helped me a lot. And that helped me a lot because I, understand, I understood after why I had a lot of invitations from abroad, and especially in some countries that they have the, in the top division some kind of uh, derbies. And I was invited in many derbies in, all, in many countries abroad. So. I think they had, they would like this this spirit. So I believe, and that's why I also I count also in the Romanian referees that they they grow up in a difficult environment, 
So then when they go to the, to the salons, yeah, from the ground to the salons, they have no problem. They can dissipate in every, in every uh, you know, challenge of a match. What do you think was your special quality as a referee? Uh, in my opinion, it was the communication. I mean, uh, I, I, I wanted to have the players with me. And uh, I was sometimes, uh, uh, you know, tough, stronger, maybe not smile, but I smile when they smile to me. What were the funny stories in your career? I don't know, some special moments and... Yeah, funny stories. The, 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 um, I, I, I was also in, in a match when uh, uh, spectators came inside, uh, naked. Oh. Or, uh, <laughs> And uh, I had the situation in England, Spain match when a naked woman entered inside. I had also some other situations like uh, in a big derby in uh, Pau Caris, they, they threw uh, fighting cocks to, you know, this, but you cannot catch them so before the match because it was a big fight. Um, and I had to, to stop the match or to to try to put, you know, the, the animals out. Um, I had also, I remember, funny, it can be a funny story for me, when I was in a, in a derby in Lebanon, when there were a strange situation with uh, people with a gun uh, around the, the pits. And uh, when there was a situation for uh, a challenge on the air and was down and they tried to make a coughing and I ran there, when I ran there to the situation to, to make it easy, the fourth official said to me, please no red. And <laughs> the people with the guns, they are around me inside the field of play. So it was a uh, nice story. <laughs> of course, nothing happened eh? no, no war, but it's a feeling, you know, it's the mentality. It was a special uh, feeling to, to participate in a Greek championship because we know they are, they are fanatic. Uh, was special to yeah it was a special no, now they are very nice <laughs> yeah they are okay <laughs> but uh, uh, you know I, I I grew up uh, with uh, playing uh, officiating matches with no grass I mean it was ground and when my first seminar uh, I saw one uh, field of play and I spoke with some other colleagues of mine uh, in the from other countries I said oh I said what is this they told me but this is what I play since already 10 years. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, it was a special. Then I had also a special, a special condition with the policeman. <laughs> you know, when I was a referee, I was the first one that I made the warm up on the field of play. It was very strange for all the people. Then I had a very special uh, agreement with the, with the policeman. Then everybody knew, but in the beginning I told them I don't want any policeman on the field of play. And uh, I tried to, to be a part of a game that I like, and I want this game to be pure, to be fair and nice. What do you think was the best moment of your career, the, best, the most important game? I know you have many, but... Yeah. <laughs> there are many, but there are all, all the, there are, you know, <clears throat> stages. For me, I did uh, a miracle. I mean, I was the first Greek referee ever uh, in the World Cup. Then I was in the European Championship, the same. Uh, it was a very big honor to have the final of the Olympic Games in 2004, and that happened in Athens, Argentina, Paraguay. It was a fantastic feeling. I had uh, two semi-finals in Champions League, two semi-finals in UEFA Cup. That was a very good moment. Uh, but the first moment that uh, I gave the green light to UEFA and FIFA, because I became very, very fast an elite referee. Uh, it was in 1999, when I officiated the uh, uh, World Cup on the 17, Brazil, Australia in the final. 
and uh, these players were after their legends. Officiated games with, I don't know, players as Beckham, Ronaldo, and Ronaldinho, and a lot. <laughs> I, I can go on <laughs> for yeah, an hour. Yeah. What was uh, the, um, I don't know, the bad uh, guy that it was difficult to, to referee? The guy that I never liked to speak was Rooney. He was the guy that he tried to put uh, something more uh, and he wanted to add the dialogue, but I was not the guy that I can add the dialogue by a player. I always had the last word. So for me it was a little bit strange, his behavior. Even uh, some guys that were uh, protesting, let's say, more, uh, With me, they were uh, very kind. And I remember one of them was uh, Catuzzo, okay. when he played in uh, Milan. Is, uh, once he received one, two yellow cards after in all my career, because two semifinals was with Milan. So I had not, um, not big problems. Yeah, but I met also very good personalities, nice players, models. They, they weren't stars on, on the field, on the pitch? Uh, no, I think they were professionals. I mean, uh, this is the this is the different thing. Uh, you can recognize a professional player in all things, as a character and as a player. They were skillful uh, players. There were also some players that they were very good. Uh, they will never want to be a star and very polite, like uh, Rivaldo. Rivaldo was a gentleman. I mean, uh, he was um, okay. fully disciplined. For me, it was also Maldini. So with Kivu, I remember really? when, remember uh, <laughs> when I, I gave the first uh, red card, uh, you know, when we changed the laws of the game and we have the, the Doxo. So I remember, but a brilliant guy. I mean, he, he told me and said, uh, this is the rule. I said, okay. And then I met him here in a gala and We exchange some words about the past. Fantastic guy. For example, Zinedine Zidane. You, you couldn't speak with him. It's different. He was, in a, he was close as a character. But he had a smile that changed everything. <laughs> When he smiled, it was totally different. Bad memories? Do you have any bad memories? I don't know, bad moments that you... My worst moment in, in life was when I was selected in the World Cup in 2006. Uh, and uh, among the 10 referees of Europe, I went to Frankfurt. I had games before. I was just one step to go. And I passed the test, the fitness test, everything, and I came back in Greece. What was the other requirement? Is that two of my three assistant referees because that was the policy of TRIO, first time since 2006 to go to the World Cup and after in Euro, we need to have a TRIO. So the other requirement was only my two assistants of three to pass the fitness test. And the two of them failed the sprint test for one split of second. For a split of second, I lost my second World Cup. What you did with your assistant referees? Did you kill them? No. <laughs> But no, I never, I, I accept uh, that was the result. I did my best to come back. There was no uh, answer. Even we had the time to do that, to have another assistant referee, fit and ready. And uh, finally, um, yes, I, I didn't give up. I said, that's life. And then after I, I went to the Euro 2008 and it was very good for me. Do you have any regrets, uh, maybe a mistake you've made in, in a match <coughs> and that is still haunting you, let's say? First of all, in, in a match, you know that you decide what you see. So whenever I analyze the match and I make a mistake, I try to find why I did it. But the most of the times was not because I knew that I do a mistake, it was because I didn't see. So I can never regret a mistake that I made. The only one I remember is that uh, maybe I blamed a little bit myself was when I had the match uh, uh, 
Deportivo La Coruña Manchester United was a last minute when uh, it was a sudden attack so Beckham has to kick the ball and Tristan came a slide we were all to the other side so also I was in the middle in order to be ready to go for the penalty area and Tristan came uh, with the tackle it was a slippery it was a rain my first impression I said to the guys red card they said yellow my assistant referee yellow my fourth official and I said okay yellow so I regret because initially I was correct and then I changed because of teamwork <laughs> but it's okay so with VAR it was much easier for Fantastic. you to take uh, the correct decision I think with the VAR <laughs> maybe I don't know if uh, any mistake uh, could be a, a peer. Five of six, maybe because I don't remember them, something, but five of six for sure will be corrected by VAR. The referees then, they were only, let's say, the best, but they have a, a very good personality and authority on the field of play. They didn't have doxo, they didn't have tackle from behind. They didn't have uh, offside uh, interfering or not. They didn't have a lot of things. So it was easier for them. But uh, the mistakes at that moment, they had no camera. Or they had a lot of, a little, you know, amount of cameras. It was difficult to say stop to your career because uh, you stopped earlier. I stopped uh, two years before the age limit. And I stopped because I have a, a big problem in my back. I, didn't, I never knew that I had something, but because I was uh, fit and I was well um, um, uh, prepared, after uh, one uh, illness that I have, we realized that uh, I have a problem in the spondy down. So it was uh, two options, to make an operation, to stop for a while and to continue, or uh, to stop without any operation. My doctor said that it's not possible to continue like that, and so I preferred uh, to stop. And it was a pity because in 2009, I was just one step to play the final of the Champions League. Having a regret that uh, your kids are not continuing your career as a referee? No. <laughs> Nobody? No. <laughs> what do uh, the small one, I mean, uh, he's 14 years old. He plays football, the boy. So uh, I don't think that he wants. But I know that he's, uh, he knows exactly what he said to the referee in his matches. <laughs> My daughter is, uh, is a fan, football fan, but uh, doesn't play um, football. It was an important step to come here to work in Romania after two presidents were arrested for corruption. You were a <laughs> courageous person. <laughs> yeah, it was um, not easy. Uh, yes, I was a little bit surprised, you know, but I, I never asked uh, to know more details. In all my life, I never look uh, back, I never look aside, I look always forward. I, I don't care about what is in my past. I know what I can do. So the first thing that I try to do is to put a high level of integrity. And me, I'm satisfied, and I think many people are satisfied with this. So um, when you have the privilege to be, uh, let's say, supported by three, by, by president in the beginning, okay, then another president, and also even another candidate for the work that you do, it's an, this appreciation. So I think uh, this helped football and this helped also the referees to feel independent. What do you think was the most difficult thing to change this image of the referees? In the beginning I had uh, some, uh, let's say, mentality. I have a mentality that the referee must be, you know, very hard, no matter the decision we make. I didn't like this. There were some, you know, some prototypes, some role models which were um, not okay, were wrong. I, I put my limits from the beginning is the meritocracy. I give principles, I create rules, and everybody knew what has to do 
in order to go up. In Romania, we are the only association that we never relegate a referee if he was not passing the age limit, which is stopped actually, so by himself. Injury, long, but even with the long injuries, we face them and we have no problem. We never relegate someone, we give them the chance. And we have many examples. Integrity was my first uh, task. And when you are together as a family, when you tell them, look, uh, there are two roads. If you want to follow us, is this road. Everybody follow one road. To reach the top uh, is difficult. To stay on the, on the top is extremely difficult. So you need to prepare about this. We try to collaborate with all. And we want the media to be next to us and to discuss fruitful and uh, with the fruitful discussions uh, to understand what uh, also we cannot see or also what is good to, to, to make. Sometimes we are very hard. Eh? Uh, we feel very, that we are treated very hard. Eh? Um, I cannot change this. Everybody can be expert about criticizing a referee. But not a referee can criticize football, yeah? can criticize a player, a coach. We already have six months with the uh, VAR system. And I want to ask you, how do you see this uh, system has changed uh, the football, the matches, the results? There are some improvements? For sure. For sure, uh, uh, some decisions can change the result. Not can change, sorry can influence the result. Because some people, they think that uh, to not give a penalty, you're changing the result. But I see that there are no penalty, they are not so successful penalties anyhow. So how we say that if you score a penalty and if we don't give, yes, okay. But uh, with the use of VAR and the improvement that we'll make, we cannot uh, eliminate at all the mistakes, but we are sure all, and I'm sure because I have the statistics, that there is not the same amount uh, of uh, mistakes than before. All the infringements, yep. okay, um, they need to be uh, seen by a referee. The referee uh, is the one who needs to take the best possible view according to the expectations of the match, and then to believe in their eyes. If you have a clear mind, you have nothing to afraid, you will decide correctly. Which are the factors? The factor one, integrity, works, helps you. The factor that you have a support from the committee, it helps you, it works. But if you think what the media can say, what somebody else can say, if you think um, that uh, the players cannot help you, okay, then uh, you start to lose. We had mistakes that we didn't see in other championships, even in Champions League, okay? We had mistakes because the referees couldn't see, and we have one, two mistakes that unfortunately they had, they had the same wrong opinion, so it was a wrong result. But at the end, uh, it is time of practice. So, of course, the referee must decide what he cannot predict, pre uh, predict and then to decide for a penalty, for a red card if he doesn't see. No, we don't want that. We want, the, as the player can do what he can do in the, in the field of play, at that time, by a football move, also the referee to decide with his eyes and with his heart and his currents. It was important for Romania to have Ishvan Kovac at the World Cup, although he was only the fourth official. Uh, I will tell you something. First of all, we had uh, two candidates from the beginning. Ovi had uh, this kind of challenge in his life. I wish and I'm sure that uh, he is uh, strong enough uh, to come back. We know, I know exactly what he can do. Istvan and the two assistant referees, uh, Vasile Marinescu and Ar uh, Artene 
Mikhail Ovidiu, they were there in the World Cup, so it is a participation in another football, eh? in a football with another team, that you need to be there. A young guy, for sure, now put the stamp in his passport for the next World Cup and also for the next Euro. So, to not have a match in the central, it doesn't mean that you are not good. Because you have to remember that we are in the World Championship. And our referees are European referees. We can, they cannot have a chance to take a place of any of bad or good referee from other confederations. So we are in a strong competition and we must all be proud where Romania has a representative there. And yes, the history writes that we had a referee in the World Cup and the history just begin. It's going to be hard for Ishvan Kovac to be motivated because, I don't know, here he doesn't take so many, much money for a game, but in, uh, at World Cup he won some money. So maybe we can change, maybe we, maybe we can give in Romania more money. <laughs> so I don't see any other solution. Somebody can say, oh, he received some money, okay. Do you know how many years he is working in refereeing? So many. So, it's not like by this. Not by everybody can be a referee in the World Cup. So you need some uh, years before. Our referees here in Romania, they don't play for the money. They play because they want it. Because they are, uh, they are enjoying what they do. And I'm very happy that we took decisions that we still have referees that they had um, a lot of challenges but they became strong and they continue. And this is very important. We never lose leverage because we are not to give up. You said that uh, Ovidio is a strong person and he could come back. Um, when we can see him, see him on the pitch? Um, we want all the medical, let's say, requirements. We need all the safety, um, let's say, protocols. First for him first for his life. For, uh, for all of our lives, we never know what to do. Ovidio is lucky, he knows. Yeah. We don't know, okay? So it means that he can know what can do. So what is the best uh, for every human life? He will do it and we will wait. If you feel that you can continue without uh, thinking anything, you will end it, and we will give the pass to end it. He was the best uh, referee, VAR referee for, for his colleagues. I don't know. He saved some situation in so many games. It Maybe was because he was appointed more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ovidio and all the referees don't think that they work only on the field of play. They work every weekend, even when they don't have a game. Because each one of them, they are watching matches, they make reports, they analyze situations. I had appointed uh, Ovidio uh, in every match, almost, in every weekend, because I know I can do it. We have this kind of uh, personality, this kind of experience, and you will ignore it? No, it's not possible. I will ask you about Colcesco, because uh, he has, uh, he had uh, a good year, so uh, about two years, maybe three years. Uh, you think he's more relaxed now? He is more relaxed because I don't know. He has so much much experience. Although he had some bad times, how do you see his uh, style? He sh he has changed. For Sebi, I think I said I said that it's expected because I know that he's a very good referee. And he's a sportsman. He's a guy that always wants to, uh, to be correct. And when he uh, has the support, will always overrule the challenges. Because I know also the difficulties for all the referees in the past. Okay, I know for all. I know how disappointed they were sometimes, how um, stopped their career immediately, how they continue after some years, how they did de most demotivated to go outside. We speak about something else. We speak about uh, the uh, professional refereeing without money. 
I mean, the only thing that I think it's missed eh, is uh, for these people to have a contract. They are committed to what they do. And Sebi uh, will receive always the support of every referee. Uh, will receive the support, no matter the age, no matter the FIFA badge or not. Eh? Because we want the fair championship, we want the good football, and the referee is one of the factors. He's not the main actor, but he's a factor of a good uh, play. Who do you think is going to be the future elite class, top class referee in, in Romania? Because we have Hatzegan, Istvan, and maybe you can bet on somebody. <laughs> to have um, the number of elite referees is not so not so clear, you know, there is no... It doesn't mean that if you have two, tomorrow you must have uh, three, or you cannot have one, no. It can change. What I know is that, first of all, our referees, no matter the category, they start to receive Champions League. Radu Petrescu has been appointed in Champions League matches. So, no matter the badge, he's there. He's like an elite. He's invited in the seminar now, in the advanced course. We're together with elite referees. So they are the top referees. Then we have also a future. So the good thing that we have here, we have uh, two speeds, and we are ready. The next, we prepare the next generation to find the path to go and to stay on the top. And I believe that this is because we agree in a plan. We had the plan. We still have a plan, and. This plan will work as uh, we are clean, we are um, clean in mind, uh, we are, uh, know what we want, uh, and for me, I made it from the beginning. I want to succeed. I cannot whistle on the field of play, but me, as uh, I have this uh, in my hands, this opportunity to give, uh, I gave it and I will still give it. How is your plan? Because sometimes we have this discussion in Romania that uh, for that match it should be a FIFA badge uh, referee. And you sent another guy uh, there. Uh, it's important to, I don't know, to give to all uh, of them the opportunity to officiate some games, important games? Of course. Um, I can remember some years ago nobody knew that Bersani is not a FIFA referee, but everybody believed that he's FIFA referee. He had a, a, a very good year, he received a, a cup, he was surprised. No, everybody is equal. No matter he has a FIFA badge or not. Who believed that Fesnik can be FIFA? Some people know. They didn't, they think no. They didn't believe even that they will play in uh, Champions League or in Europa League. But he did. Why? Because of himself. We, we just give the path. If they cannot go on the path and they cannot work, huh? they cannot succeed. So we succeed all together because of them. What do you want to improve? What's your future plan for the referees in Romania? Um, I want to, to improve the better conditions. They need, more, they need better conditions. Always we are humble of what we do. We never request something. But some things are, uh, they have a line. Because we have people that they have go tomorrow to their work. But at the same time, they need to prepare professionally. Some people, they start uh, and say, I have to stop my job because I like referring. <clears throat> we have also the conditions that they need how to travel. We are all together to increase the level. And I really appreciate when I see more and more now, the players to accept their mistakes on the field of play. They made a penalty, they respect the decision, they have a VR intervention. It is okay, they, they do this. And also, we were clear. I came many times and I said, these are our mistakes, these are things, of course, I cannot do it every week. When we are all fair and we know exactly what we want, we can succeed. You said that you have this line of the integrity, that you have rules, and um, it was, it is a discussion in Romania about um, referees that are in politics. 
uh, maybe they are they have some connections with some clubs it's difficult to manage these things there are rules there are laws there are laws of the country there are rules of the competition there are rules of everything there's nothing against it. i have a headache in the appointments okay <laughs> i have a referee with a brother football player okay yeah. what is Go this on, yeah. this is health this is health i don't care uh, where he plays he plays well he will play every time we have um, also uh, people from the same uh, city i will never put them in the you know in the, in the mouth of the wolf we have uh, uh, ex players we have people that they work uh, somewhere so we appreciate that and we see that there is nothing against them sometimes uh, rum rumors can help me but the rumors that they come to me to check not to first to see in the media and then to say ah is wrong uh, i cannot go every day to say this is lie now there is a there's a, a like a motto that the referee refused the via never happened that never never sometimes i use the the thing because Okay, I used once the audio. I said I will not never use because they need to know that this is something that uh, we never uh, let the integrity out. What you like and what you don't like here? The food I prefer the Greek food, okay? <laughs> But uh, um, I never say, for example, that the sarmale are not good. What I like also here is about that uh, they show me always all the people respect. Uh, I feel like uh, one of uh, of all, of all the remainers, I mean, one of you. And um, I, I like that. And I like that also that they love my country, and they also they like uh, our uh, people. And we are brothers, and this is very important. We are, have the same mentality. We like to to enjoy life, and this is very good. Um, what I don't like. Um, You know, sometimes uh, the things that they are not truth and they are appearing there just to let me to answer in order to create a dialogue. No, I will not create news, you know. It's not my job. My job is to create a job, to create success. In the beginning especially, I was a little bit crazy with all this snow on the street, with all these things. But many things are better than my country. I mean, how ready you are to clean the roads or how how respect you have to the pedestrian zones we don't have. You have many years in Romania and it was a discussion that you are not speaking Romanian. Um, you, you speak so many languages, but not Romanian. Uh, I prefer to not make mistakes, okay? Because uh, I can understand Romanian. I can speak a little bit, but uh, the thing is that uh, my Uh, my language every time, most of the time, is because I speak with UEFA, with FIFA, with other associations. I'm invited as an instructor. Uh, it's, it's very difficult for me, and I know that I can speak when I'm ready. Understand? When nobody can, see, I cannot be a viral for a mistake in the Romanian language. So I prefer to be a viral in English. Kalesiortes is arbatori fericit.